Sean? This is Sean. This is Sean. Connor's brother. And we are going to make Irish potatoes today. Here's our recipe that obviously I got from the internet because that's what I wrote years and years ago. Apparently it serves six. I don't know why I wrote that. Um, just makes 35 little potato candies. And we are gonna show you how to make it, right, Sean? Yes? Yes. Are you gonna help me? Yes. Okay, here we go. Okay, Sean is washing his hands. He is gonna be my helper. Uh, Sean, wash them longer than that. That's not show a good hand washing for Hi. all the people that wanna see how nice you wash your hands. Okay, that's good. Scrub them up. Okay. Hmm. All right, and now we're ready to put in our first ingredient, Sean. You gonna help me? Here's our first ingredient, which is cream cheese. We recommend Philadelphia brand. Everything else I get from Aldi, pretty much, because it's definitely the cheapest place to shop. So I'd recommend that. Come here, Sean. You are gonna put in the cream cheese, ready? Go ahead, unwrap it. Show me cooking. This is fun, huh? Oh, it's okay. Just don't don't lick your hands. You can always wash it later. And you're gonna put it in the bowl, okay? Put in. Good. Is it stuck? Pull it. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. In the bowl, okay? All right. Next ingredient is gonna be the butter. Can you unwrap that one and put it in? And then we might have to wash your hands again. Socks. But that's okay. Socks, but. Okay. All right, let's turn this off and get Sean's the mixer. gonna help me do the mixer. He likes to help, but put your hand a little lower, Sean, on my wrist. There you go. He likes to help, but I have to help too. We're gonna mix the cream cheese and the butter. We're gonna cream them together, okay? Yes. Okay, here we go. Yes. It's gonna be loud, okay? Yes. All right. Are you holding one ear? One. <laughs> okay, here we go. Whoa, we're not holding the bowl very well. Good job, Sean. Forgot we need a new mixer. <laughs> okay, that looks good. It's good enough for now. And we are gonna eat, read um, the next ingredient. Ready? We need one box of confectioner sugar, which I also said was three and a half cups. So we're gonna get that ready and add that in. Okay. Here goes Sean. He's gonna add one cup. Go ahead. We need three and a half cups. We're just gonna add one at a time, and then we're gonna put our mixer on and mix it in. Ready? Oh, put your hand over mine. Okay, let's go around this way. Ready? I'll, I'll film it like this. Ready? Is your hand on top of mine? On top, Sean. Top, Sean? Put the cup down. Put your hand on top of my hand. Other hand. There, uh, no. Hang on. Uh, my mixer may not work for long. We have to hold the cord up, don't we? So it stops doing that. There we go. Go ahead, Sean. Good adding. Okay, I'm gonna stir that with the add mixer. The last cup and a half. You can add one at a time. Go ahead, there's the half. Good adding. Okay, and then add the other one, the last cup. That's it, add it in. So now we have about, go ahead. We have about half our powdered sugar and we added the other half. And now we have to mix it more. It's gonna be a little tricky to mix. Tricky. If you would prefer to mix it with your hands, we're not gonna do that, Sean. But if you would prefer that, you could just go right from here and use your hands, right, mm -hmm. Sean? Not you, but could we use our hands later? Yes. Yeah, we will. We're gonna mix in the coconut next, and we are gonna use our hands, Sean, huh? Yes! Yeah, um, but first we're gonna put on rubber gloves, like rubber little gloves. disposable ones, so then we can just throw them out. But before we do that, what's Ooh. this? Do you want one? Yes. Okay, every good recipe has a lick the beater part. There you go, Sean. Okay, while Sean licks the beater, I'm gonna get the gloves ready. Is it good? 
Right How's it taste so far? Good. Good? Say good? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's really relaxing and taking a break, aren't you, Sean? Yeah. Okay. Keep up the good work. Okay, I'm going to add the vanilla while Sean's still taking a break. He doesn't leave anything not licked off. He gets the whole, the whole beater good. So we need a few more minutes for him to do that. I'm using pure vanilla. Seems obvious, but I guess I should mention that it should be pure vanilla extract. It calls for a teaspoon of vanilla. Um, it's easy to me in recipes just to pour in a little bit. You really can't ruin it by going over, it's fine. Next we have our coconut. Okay, Sean, dump it in gently. Jet. This is optional. I actually did more than a half a cup. I let it be overflowing. Um, I like the coconut, but you can definitely make them. <laughs> is that fun? You can definitely make them without coconut and you don't have to put the vanilla. So um, they're perfectly fine without vanilla. I don't like them without the coconut, but I mean, if you don't like coconut, you can still make this recipe, still have fun with it. So now we're gonna use our hands. Are you ready, Sean? Oh, I like your hands. Okay, I'll go get okay. the one. Put your hands in the mix and you're gonna mix it with your hands. Go ahead, mix it up really good. Two hands, two hands. Two hands. Yep. Good, squeeze it together. Make it really good. Yep, it's fine. Okay, good mixing. TSS. And can you mix it a little more? Maybe mom will help a little in a minute, huh? Okay, mix it a little more. Show me how. You squeeze it all together and smush it in like Play-Doh and then smush it down into the dish. It's kind of tricky, huh? Okay, so this is not mixed good enough for like the recipe, but he's having fun, so hey. Um, and then I will mix it with my hands in a minute, huh? You wanna mix it for another minute? Yeah. This is fun, this is like playtime, huh? go and it smells good and it doesn't smell like yucky play-doh which is awesome does it smell good Sean tell me when you're done mixing yes you want to do it a few more minutes yes oh okay you're having fun huh thinking about your TSS yes please Thinking about your friends? Smooth it. Smooth it. Oh, I like how you press coconut it. Press. Tree. It is po coconut. Press it down. There you go. And you down. can use this hand too. Use it. But we got a little on the floor. That's okay. Huh? Oh, that's good mixing. That's why we just leave up. Didn't we have your sleeves rolled? You don't like them rolled, do you? There. Okay, try more. We're mixing. I like how you flattened it. That'll mix it up real good. Okay, so while you're doing that, I'm going to show our YouTube fans what we have in this bowl. We put in kind of the shallow bowl, we put some cinnamon because now we're going to take our mix, which actually, Sean, you, you mixed it really. This is perfectly fine now. We're going to take our clean hands or our hands with gloves and we're going to make little balls and roll it in the cinnamon. We'll show you that part in a minute. I'm going to show on the video while I hold the camera. This might be tricky, Sean. I'm going to take a little bit of the dough in my hand. Okay. And then put it in the... I think it's just hard because I have one hand. We're going to mix it or roll it in the cinnamon. And then ball it up a little better. And it doesn't have to look pretty, but it just has to taste good. And we're gonna put them on the plate. It looks like a little potato. And we're gonna put them in the fridge, in the refrigerator, so they stay nice and cold. Can you get a ball? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Wait. Oh. Oh, wow. Wait. <laughs> Sean, no, that's not how we do it. No, no, stop. Okay, some of these are gonna have, that's okay, right, Sean? 
Some of these are gonna have cinnamon in them, and that's fine too. I'm gonna turn this off and get you fixed up here. Like and we're gonna actually put our dough, our mix, our mix in the freezer. Um, just a little side note, these are not an Irish recipe at all. Um, they are just a Philadelphia, New Jersey thing. <laughs> so we're gonna stick that in there just for five or 10 minutes. Um, we wanna harden up the dough a little bit. It's really the consistency right now of, here's the towel, honey, of butter, like mistake. softened butter. And it's- Mistake. Did you wash your hands? Yes, yes, Good. Yes. And we don't want this consistency of softened butter for rolling the balls. So um, you can even put these balls, these Irish potatoes, you can even put these in the fridge for a little while to, and they'll taste better cold. In fact, because they have cream cheese, you don't want to leave them out at room temperature for long. Hey, Sean, it's St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day? <laughs> Say happy St. Patrick's happy Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Here's the average potatoes. Can you try one? Tell me if they taste good. Someone had some yesterday. Go ahead and tell me. Tell me, are they good? Is it yummy? <laughs> oh, my goodness. You ate the whole thing in one bite. I think taking two bites is probably easier. Okay, Sean, say thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Don't forget. Don't forget. To like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. To my brother's channel. To my brother's channel. Connor's Cuts. Connor's Cuts. <laughs> say happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Okay. See ya. Yeah?